This is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen uh, Road Rival Showdown 2-pack uh, Beachcomber and Deadlift um, In some parts of the world at least in North America these uh, this 2-pack is a, um, a Walmart exclusive however out here in Manila uh, this pack is can be found uh, almost anywhere uh, uh, your favorite uh, local uh, retail toy store, Toy Kingdom, Toys R Us, uh, Rustan's Kid Station, Toy Town, and whatnot. Okay, uh, they are obviously repaints of the Scout class figures that went before them, um, and uh, they're they're actually a good repaint in my opinion. Um, if and uh, the, the actually most of the scouts that have been released for the revenge line have really been very very nicely done even if they've all even if they've been repaints um, so uh, Beachcomber is obviously a uh, an homage to the G1 Beachcomber uh, which is which also transformed into a buggy and deadlift uh, as some say is a, a gobot homage uh, the gobot spoons um, so they're pitted against each other, as the bio says. Uh, there was a time when neither Beachcomber nor Deadlift uh, was interested in warfare. Beachcomber spent his time exploring the barren wilderness of remote planets, while Deadlift enjoyed his function of transporting deactivated Decepticons to the smelting pools for repurposing. Now, however, the war has drawn both of them into its grip. The two find themselves in a close quarters fight to the finish. Um, I guess it reflects a lot of their personalities. Uh, both in G1 and and maybe if uh, another Decepticon back in the G1 or G2 year, I'm not sure. So anyway, let's begin. Um, let's begin with uh, Deadlift. Uh, now Deadlift uh, is an orange and sort of bron not bronze, metallic gunmetal and gray repaint of, if you didn't already know, uh, Dirt Boss. Uh, Dirt Boss was, well, he was an okay figure, but uh, in my opinion, I think the Deadlift figure is a lot better uh, than the Dirt Boss figure. So if you had missed out on Dirt Boss, yeah, you know, the Deadlift figure is not a bad substitute. And actually, he looks a little bit more interesting than him, although he does look more like a Constructicon than this guy. But orange, green, they're both comp they're go both good colors for the alt mode of this particular figure. To transform uh, Deadlift, just like... Um, uh, his predecessor. Um, uh, uh, wait, before before we transform, let me just. I had I had made uh, the uh, prongs of the forklift into axe picks or something, or uh, daggers instead of the usual swords. But you can turn them into spikes if you want to. There's no problem in that. Anyway, let's keep it that way. Transform him just like a uh, dirt boss. Straighten out the legs, fold out the toes or the feet. Um, what you want to do is open the shoulders. You want to raise up the arms to the side, like so. Do the same thing on the other side. Uh -huh. And then you, what you want to do is lower the entire head assembly with the shoulder assembly. And then, um, wait, you want to fold uh, the two panels together first. Okay. And then just snap them into place. Like so. Make sure everything's tight. And make sure you put this assembly in before you do so. Before you fold before you fold the uh the two uh pieces together. My bad. Okay. There. Uh no worries. And then uh just collapse the legs. The legs do tab into the uh forearms. There is a peg there for each of the leg hole like so and with that we have spoons or deadlift in his uh, forklift alt mode hold on a sec it's my bad I'm not ta my fault for not tabbing it in properly okay it's actually pretty stable if you do it properly like so there you go so here is deadlift in his forklift alt mode very nice uh, as you can see the, there's a tribute to the gobot mr34 mr stands for 
uh, Machine Robo 34, which how which was how um, I think the Japanese manufacturers referred to GoBots, Machine Robos. 34 was the designated number for spoons. Uh, it goes very well, just like uh, Dirt Boss. Uh, the, this thing doesn't work. You can fold this up and down slightly, but that's it. Very cute, very nice little Scout class figure. So let's keep him there. Now for Beachcomber. Um, he is, if you didn't already know, a direct repaint of Doom Runner. Uh, they're both equally good repaints. Uh, they're equally equally good figures, and this is a. I I actually like the repaint more. Um, no wait, I like the metallic paint on this guy, but I like the blue on this guy. So I don't know if I were to pick. Very tough for me. I'd, I'd still probably go with Beachcomber since he's a homage to the G1 figure. But if you already got this guy, he's, he's actually pretty good. You don't have to get him. But if you missed out on this guy, he's a not a bad substitute. Now, some reviewers have already vandalized this figure and just ripped off the guns. Well, I don't do that. I'm a more kind reviewer. I'd like to keep my figures intact. So what you can do is you can just prop up the guns up, uh, upward so he doesn't look as violent or as combat ready because as most of you know in G1 uh, Beachcomber was a very nature loving peace loving Autobot so I think this looks cool on him putting the guns up articulation is the same just like Beachcomber so you can check out my review of uh, Beachcomber Dune Runner you can check out my review of Dune Runner same exact same articulation as that guy very nice I'm really really loving the blue paint on this guy the blue and light gray paint very very G1 Beachcomber. Autobot symbol right there which is in red very G1. So um, transform him what you want to do is you want to tab in the legs together this is a very well it's a very tight tab which you have to snap with some force fold out the heels fold up the bumper to form the front part of the buggy or the June buggy then what you want to do is lift up the, uh, the roof fold down the head, raise up the back bumper, um, okay, you want to fold out the guns, uh -huh. and then what you want to do is transform the arms, like so, uh, because of the transformation, it's got double jointed elbows, which is actually pretty cool, and then what you want to do is raise up the arms, this way, and fold out the wheel, uh-huh, And fold up and just keep the, the roof there okay fold out the wheel and then raise the oh sorry my bad rotate the waist and then just fold up the front part of the car and snap everything together uh, or they don't really snap or tab into anything they just stay there which is a bit of a downer uh, and then the the roof just stays on top. It doesn't really tab onto anything. It, it's you just have to transform every piece correctly to make it a very stable vehicle. Mm, see, this one's not rolling in all fours properly, but what can you do? That's Hasbro for you. Fold the guns here. Um, if you don't want the guns, uh, there's really nothing you can do. But to just keep them there, um, you can fold them this way to make it less uh, obvious as as guns. But they they will be there. You can just pop them off if you want. Nothing's going to be stopping you that. But I, I don't want to pop things off on my figures. So there is Beachcomber in his um, light uh, buggy looking attack vehicle, military attack vehicle. Very nice. Rolls very well. Colors are great. He's got some metallic finish here on the back part of the engine. Very nice. So there you have it. Um, the two pack of Beachcomber and uh, Dead Deadweight or Deadlift, Deadlift and Beachcomber two pack. You can you can buy it anywhere here in Manila. And for some of you guys, it, it's a Walmart exclusive. The Road Rivals Showdown, Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen, Beachcomber, and Deadlift. I hope this video has been very helpful to some of you have been wondering, or most of you have been wondering whether these figures were actually worth the, the purchase. I, I highly recommend them, especially if you missed out on the uh, previous uh, incarnations of these modes. There you go. Thanks for watching.